Hey guys, how's it going? Derek here from Addictive Tips. In this video, we're going to be setting up an Amahi 10 Linux NAS. A NAS, for those of you don't, that don't know, is a network attached storage server. And uh, we're doing Amahi 10 and Fedora Server 25 because the software supports it the best. Um, I go over a little bit of an explanation why we're using an older version of Fedora Server. Do not freak out, it's okay. Uh, I'm doing this in a VM because, you know, how else am I going to make a network device? <laughs> um, I'm not going to use it full screen because that's not really what's important. It's just important that it connects to the network and can exist. And uh, so I'm going to unpause it and we can go through the setup. So to start off, you're going to need to... The VM crashed for some reason. So anyways, to start off, you're going to need to load the live disk. And I have the download link in the article description, because if you go to the Fedora server website, you're going to get version 10 or version 28, not what we need. And we need this version here. And uh, for those of you who are weary about Fedora 25 server, don't worry, you can get the, uh, you know, you can get the version 27, which is still supported in some way. And uh, Amahi 12 is probably coming up with Fedora 29 server. But when you start off, you're going to see a little bit something like this. Go through, select your language, click the continue button. And uh, at this point, you need to set up the installation, software selection, and source. So we're going to start off with the system. You need to set, I will configure partitioning, make sure your hard drive is selected, and then click the done button. Over here, you need to change LVM to standard partition. Go over here, delete all the stuff on here. Go back to standard partition again. Click the plus sign, add a mount point, and the mount point should be root. You don't really need a custom separate home partition unless you have multiple hard drives. If you don't know what you're doing, just do it this way. So then specify how big you want it to be. So my VM server has 18 gigabytes of storage, so I'm going to give the root partition about 16 gigabytes, and it will round it down to like 14.9. And now I know that this 3.1 I can use for swap, so I'm going to set up a swap, and I'm just gonna click add mount point, and it's gonna use the rest of it. From there, I can click done, because that's all I need to do, except the changes, and uh, go to my network host name, and set it up so that I can edit the host name to Mahi Naz. Click the apply button. And uh, you don't really have to mess with the host name. If you don't know what it is, just leave it alone, I guess. <laughs> but I like to change mine. And from there, we can go to the installation source and the installation software selection. Okay, so minimal install is what we want and we need to select standard because if you don't select standard, it's just, it's it's not gonna have an internet connection and it's not gonna work right. And uh, from there, just click the begin installation. Do not set this root password, ignore it. Go over here, set up a user and your user, just write in first admin account or whatever you wanna add. And uh, be sure to check make this admin and then enter a secure password, click done, and let it install. All right, so Fedora 25 server is up and running. We can now log in and uh, ping google.com just to make sure that our internet connection is working. that. So now that our Fedora 25 server is working, we can log in and uh, check the internet connection. So internet is working good through the Fedora server. That means that we have an internet connection. So the next part is you need to do the setup here. So I'm actually not going to walk you through this part because you can't actually set up the Amahi server without creating an account and registering and getting a unique code. So I'm just showing you the commands here. It's just downloading an RPM and then DNF install and all of that. 
And uh, that's all covered in the article below. So what we can do now is we can reboot after we've set up our stuff. You know, I'm imagining that we have that set up and uh, we can check it out. I actually already have a snapshot of this and uh, I'm just going to restore it and then we can check out the, the server. So I restored the snapshot and now we can see if we go to the IP address of the virtual machine, which it tells you in the Amahi information, we know that we can load up the UI and I can access my account. So I've logged in successfully to my Amahi server. And if we look at setup, we know that I've got my user and I can create as many users as I want. And it's all very intuitive. We've got shares, which we can access over the network right here. And it's showing the Windows locations, but uh, this is where the files would go. And like I said, here is our shares. And you pretty much just connect with your Amahi account and the users that are set up there. You can also go to disks and add more disks if you like to monitor all of that. There are network settings and there are even apps. And uh, we'll go over apps more another time, but this is a very great NAS server. It's very turnkey, so you don't really have to think about it. It's not like Open Media Vault where you have to know a little bit about computers. You pretty much just need to know enough to follow the guide and get Fedora server running and then install the software. And then Samba is already there and everything is already set up. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video on how to set up an Amahi Linux NAS. I will see you in the next video.